Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to be playing with clothespins, all different kinds, okay? I got tiny ones, I got medium ones, then I got large ones, and then, of course, I don't have the regular size ones, but this is what I have. I only have this many of these left, <laughs> and I have this many of these, and then I got a whole pack of these. And these are from Dollar Tree. I think these might be from Dollar Tree. And these are from Walmart. I got them on clearance for a dollar. It was a pack of 24 of them, I believe. And they're already colored, which makes it nice. Yeah, it was 24 pack. So I don't know if you can still get them because they're on clearance. And then I got the 50 pack of the tiny clothespins from Crafter Square Dollar Tree, okay? And we're going to be putting different things on these today. I have a whole bunch of these. I want them used up. <laughs> Recollection mic basic microbeads. Okay. I got a metallic and then just basic. Okay. And there's six colors in each one. So I'm going to be using every single color of them. Every single one in the iridescent glitter shapes. Okay. And then same with the metallic iridescent glitter shapes right and then last but le least chunky chunky glitter I can't even talk beautiful beings <laughs> but I'm gonna be using I'm gonna use all these little ones for these okay that's because it comes with 50 three of them like two were broke one broke the one of the handles broke off and then one was missing thing in the middle the metal thing in the middle but i have enough to do one of every color okay then i was thinking we try to put some of these on these are park lane sequins and they're hearts and i believe there's three different sizes in there might not be i don't see a medium size so it's just a big the bigger one and then the smaller one there's no medium size one okay and I also have these, and I have no idea what store I got these from. Sprinklets, embellishments, poker face, NK123, and it does not say where it's from, but it's from Button Galore and more. Okay, I don't know what store sells these, is what I'm trying to say. But it's from Button Galore and more, and I bought these a long time ago. Then I was thinking on the bigger ones, I could probably glue one of these on here to get rid of a couple of these. Because <laughs> I haven't even used these yet. And I got these on clearance. These are Heritage, Heritage, Maggie Holmes. You get 18. I got them on clearance a long time ago at Joann's. Okay, beautiful beings. And then I got other stuff too. So we'll just see where we're going with this. But we're going to start with our recollection. Micro beads. And metallic beads. Okay, so let's get started, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, we're going to start off with metallic micro beads from Re Collections. I have a lid here so we don't make a mess. <laughs> Hopefully, I have a piece of paper and I'm just going to pour some in the lid. Like that them aside so I don't spill them somehow. I'm going to take a clothespin, see which side stands up. Some, some side, sometimes it won't stand up on one side and that's the side I usually use, but this one stands up perfect. So I'm just going to take some glue, go like this, and I'm going to do all six of these colors. But I'm just going to show you a couple. I'm going to put it in there. It'll fall over. It's okay. And then we're going to flip it so it stands over there. And then we're going to dip it one more time there. And then what we're going to do is go like this. And make sure it's pushed down into the glue really good. That's about it, beautiful beans. 
and then set it aside to dry. And then this, make sure all the debris is off. Pick up your paper, pinch it here really tight and knock those in there. Then get the lid turned and then tap it. And if there's any in there, I have a little, I have a grocery bag beside me. I can get the rest of them out. I just wipe my finger on it and tap it and they usually come right out. All right, now I'm going to take my other hand and I'm going to pinch this here. So I get this here and then I'm going to pinch this up here. And then I'm just going to pour the beads back in. The gap's not big enough. There we go. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, beautiful beings. And then if there's any on the lid, just push them in there. Okay. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do white. Make sure there's no debris on your paper. Because you don't want that going in your jar when you put the beads back in. Right. This one has a gold one. Sometimes when you twist them, they get... You don't see it, and then you go to the next color, it drops in there. That was like stuck in that edge or something. Okay, that's right. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna grab another close pen. Put some glue on it. Oh, I don't want that down there. I don't want it to glue together. in there and if you want you can turn it if you don't it looks like that just on the top but I don't mind a couple on the side I'm gonna push down this time to make sure they're flattened lift it up then I'm gonna do this just to make sure they're stuck in there good off on your fingers. Voila. That's all there is to it, beautiful beings. Okay, I got all six of those colors done. Now I'm going to move on to this one. And this one has mixed ones. So, there's no way of getting around this one. They're all mixed. Okay? Again, these are just basic micro bead set okay so let's try this one right. sure there's no debris on here right. put them in yeah see they're all mixed but we're gonna use them up close pen glue on it Okay, beautiful beings, now we got all the steps done, the gluing, the dipping, and the cleaning up parts done. I'm just going to fast forward through a couple of the other ones so we can get through this video faster. Okay, beautiful beings. Now we're doing iridescent glitter shapes. These ones don't roll around, so I just put them on an envelope. And you can put as much or as little as you want. I really loaded this one up. Now I'm doing the metallic glitter shapes. Sometimes they clump together. You just got to push them apart with your fingers.
the cards they're all aces you got black aces and red aces black have the clubs and the red have the diamonds and then you get a couple that have numbers that's what they look like and they're the same on the back of the card okay I wanted to give you a close up of them and it feels like a look like a rubber material they're made out of and then here's our hearts give you a close up of them and it's just small and then big okay beautiful beings I put a backdrop of black down for you so you can see them really good these are our iridescent metallic shapes and remember they do not have to be for Valentine's Day I just stuck on Stuck them on a February card because I'm going to be doing February, of course, and they turned out beautifully. Hey, beautiful beings, these are iridescent glitter shapes. I think it was, I just thought of this idea because I thought it'd be a good way. Because when you buy these, you kind of have them for life because <laughs> you get so many. So. I thought this was a creative way to use them up on little clothespins, and they're perfect for them. And now we have our metallic micro beads. Okay. All the colors you get. And these are just the basic colors you get, which were mixed, but not too bad. You can still see all the colors you get. And I still, I, I think this is supposed to be red, but again, they're all mixed, kind of, <laughs> but they still look good to put on anything you want, stick them in there. Now to give you some ideas what you can use them for, this is just a little Valentine's notebook you get from Dollar Tree, and I stuck one in the front of it, just to give it an extra something. Here's just the Valentine's card, just to give it a little extra something again. Let's stick one there. Just giving you ideas, beautiful beings. And I put this one on her to hold the painting. Again, these are all just a chunky glitter. Okay. And then you can have a card and just put it on there and tuck it in and that can be your pole for your tuck. Okay. Same with this one. Blue. That looked perfect with that. <laughs> and then last but not least, this is one I made a long time ago with those flower petals, those Valentine flower petals, let's put it on an index card. Okay, and then I just stuck on there. Okay, beautiful beings. I painted some of the little clothespins white, pink, and red, and I want to glue some of these red and pink hearts on them. I'm going to take some glue. So there, and you got to figure out which way. Like, if you're putting it this way, you could put it sideways. I was thinking I wanted to put something in there because, as you can see, there's holes in these. You can always put something in there. I think that paint, that ribbon we just used, would be perfect. Another one, we'll make this one a sideways one. And I probably got too much glue because they're really small. So I'm just going to smear that in a little bit. And then I'm going to take a red one and pick it up. one 
I should have used my here I got this and then I think I'm just gonna light it like that so there's room to, for the clip because I don't know even know if this glue is gonna hold them down but we'll find out then I'll try to find some little tiny beads we could stick in there in holes okay I need to move over more for you huh so there's that one put that aside to dry it now I got a pink one let's make this one go this way and that one looks crappier this side the glues up more I didn't get it smooth enough but that's okay so I'm going to put some glue on here again I'm going to try to leave that edge clear because that's how you clip them on stuff and I don't know if they'll bust off so let's do a red one first on this one and then a small pink one red one. I'm just going to pick it up with this. Then try to get the glue off the top. And there we go. <laughs> okay. And I painted this clothespin pink. Just give me ideas, beautiful beings. Basically do whatever you want with these. Okay, this one I painted it pink and red. Okay. And I think I'm going to have this one go this way. And I'm going to leave this plane up here. And then I'm going to put some glue down it. And I was thinking we can use I wanted the, these ones. Chunky glitter. And they don't have soft pink. It's like, I guess, good enough, but yeah, we'll just use some of these. I'll put some in my hand, and I'm just going to put the hearts in first, and then grab some of these. I need some glue. As you can see, I have glue in all the holes, put the pink one. Let me see what I'm doing. It's hard for me to see because of my holder. It puts a block in it where I can't see if you can see. But I'm just adding a little bit of glue in there where those holes were to cover them up with a chunky glitter. Okay. That's all I'm doing. But I don't want too much on my toothpick because then they'll stick. So I'm going to put one there. See, then don't want to come off if I put too much. So I'm going to wipe that again and put one here. One there. Won't come off. <laughs> Won't come off. And then if you want, if there's glue oozing out, you can put some in that glue, here and there, of where it's coming out. I didn't want to get in too much detail with these, but I keep getting ideas, beautiful beings. What to do, and then we put some down at the bottom. Let me move over, put this back in the thing. Then I can hold it so you can see it better. I'm gonna hold it up here, 
and just push that one in. This one can come in. And push this one back up. And then I'm just gonna gently go like that to make sure they all glue in. Okay. And there you go. Okay, now we're going to do our cards. I'm going to do red. I thought I had one I left plain, but I keep getting no ideas. This one's, I colored this clothes pen white. Okay, it's just white paint, glass paint. And then we're going to put our cards in here. And maybe one of these. I didn't move it down, I forgot about the top. And then a black one. No, I wanted a red one. There's no red one. That's all right. We'll just put, I wanted another red one in there. And these are different sizes. Some are bigger than these than others. that but as you can see some are bigger than others maybe I should make that one straight make that one straight and make these ones tipped and I'm gonna tip it just so I have room to grab on that just get them where you want There's little cards. We should try one in a brown one. I think I got enough brown ones for what I want. So let's try one on a brown one. See what they look like on a brown one. And plus we got more room. I did not want that up there. So let me just wipe that off. And let's just put some on here. Like, okay, let's just do black one on this. See how that card's a different shape, and that one's wonky. That one's really wonky. Somebody keeps messaging me. Sorry, beautiful beings. <laughs> if that's distracting you, let's just do one with one. And then another one of these. Let's flip it over. Right. Shift a little bit. Good enough. And make sure they're centered. There we go. Okay. Just a little something to, you know, put on your clothespins. Jazz them up a little bit. Okay. Stick right. those out of the way. Now I have the brown one. And I think I want it to go that way. I have this little word that says lucky. And I'm just going to glue it down. Fits perfect. Put it right there. Okay. Then I have a little sticker. I think these are from Dollar Tree. I'm not sure. I don't have the package right here with me, but it's just a clover. I'm going to peel that off. And then I'm going to figure out which way. I think I want it this way. So I'm just going to put a little glue here and right there, maybe in the middle. And I'm going to stick this down and this one's going to be for St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Ok, 
Okay, beautiful beings. Now the Easter one. I should have got another egg. I didn't. I went out through and rummaged through all my different. I forgot fall though. Okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue all the way down. I'm going to stop there. Gonna, no, I want the carrot first. Put this carrot on here like that. I'm gonna make sure I get glue on the top. Then we're gonna put our bunny. I'm gonna stick the bunny's ears in the glue just a little bit. And I'm gonna put the bunny there. Like that. Then I'm gonna get a little bit more glue and just dab there and then sit down here and as you see I got another bunny but I forgot another egg and I got one egg and we're gonna stick that egg right there you beautiful beings <laughs> I mean I could just keep going and going with all the ideas with these I really could and we're gonna set this aside to dry doesn't want to stay down the top. Okay, I got this yellow one and I thought it went with this one. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to use this side because I did put glue on that side just for reinforcement. Okay, so I just put glue there, let it dry. And now I'm going to put glue on this side and it's going to reinforce it because it's going to have glue on that side. And this could basically go anyway. So I'm going to put glue on that. And I believe that's just enough glue. Okay. So if you have little round embellishments of any sort, you can use them too. See, and it doesn't interfere with the clip. Okay. And then you can put it this way, it looks fine this way or you could put it this way okay beautiful beings whichever way you want and I have one more and let's think about putting this one on a blue one because there is blue in the background light blue I could even put this on a purple one because there's a little purple in there and a bird I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this one I did put glue on there it's not quite dry I just do that for reinforcement. So I'm going to put some here and then I'm going to put some glue down for that. And this one will be a down one because the picture has to go one way on this one. Or I could have made it a sideways. I just got to move the picture. Okay. But I do want a little purple showing on the bottom. There we go. Okay. I have these. I have a pumpkin one, but I want something behind this, so I'm not going to do that one. And they, these are just those toothpicks you stick in, like for Halloween or for fall. This one's for fall, or it could be Halloween, it don't matter. This egg corn one. They're just for cupcakes, picks. Okay, you just, how I got them off is I just gently kept turning and turning and turning. The stick until they came out okay this one I want to add something up here of course so we're gonna use some chunky glitter and I'm gonna to have to let it sit and I want to put something on him for a stem so again I'm just gonna use the orange I think the chunky glitter start putting it in there. I probably could have just poured it, but I didn't want to clean it up. So I'll just fast forward.
I'm just gonna put it on the brown. So what I'm gonna do is put glue on this side and you should wait till they're dry. Until the chunky glitter is dry. Wipe my finger and I'm gonna stick that right there. I like it on the brown. Down and then make sure that's centered and put it off to the side to dry. Okay, beautiful beings. As I told you earlier, I pulled this one out. Okay, then I stuck it in the top. I glued it. Okay. Now we're gonna cut this off like this. I don't know. I'm gonna go. There we go. I like that one better. Okay. I like that better. Now I'm gonna try something. I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna put glue on this stem. That's of it. I'm gonna wipe around here to get that off. Okay. Then I'm just gonna get some green chunky glitter. Then I think I'm going to glue it on a brown one. So I'm going to put, I'll just put the glue on here and up there. And we'll stick it right there. Okay. And this one, I think the egg corn blends in too much with a brown paper clip. So I got some indoor out door paint white gloss I'm just gonna add a little bit just so it makes it pop put a little white just on the front just like that I think that looks better because it stands out more I think it just blended in way too much beautiful things Okay, beautiful beings, I'm going to move these to the side to dry. Now I'm going to bring in these. I have a yellow one and I have an orange one. And those packs where they're already colored. And I have this for the chickadee and this one for the carrots. Or maybe I should switch them so there's not so much. And these are from Dollar Tree trim pack you get it at Easter time okay and this one's from this pack all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna put glue here I mean I want a little bit more so we're just gonna put glue there this will be a side one. And then this one's gonna go this way. So I wanna make sure I have enough glue. I do. The carrots on that one. Okay. Then we're gonna flip them over. And then I'm going to put this one up this one. I think I need more glue up a little bit more. Just to show you, you can do them for any season or just do them for every day. Okay. Whatever inspires you. 
whatever idea that you get. Okay, beautiful things. I'm gonna set them aside to dry. So this one will be a right clip and this one will be, no, this one will be a left clip and this one will be a right clip. And we'll move them aside to dry. Okay, beautiful things. You can get these from Crafter Square, the little coffee to goes or tea to go, whatever you want it, hot chocolate. It can be whatever to go you want, cups, okay? And I'm using three of them. Okay. And I colored the clothespins. I did one in purple. And then I did one in gold. This might be bronze. And I did one in pink. But I want something up here, so I was thinking, what a good way to use up the chunky glitter. Or, I think these, the iridescent glitter shapes, these ones would look good on the pink. So I'm gonna fast forward while I do this, okay? And then, I have, I don't have a brown. I have a purple though. I'm thinking of putting the purple up there. And what can I put on the brown one? I think I have stars or hearts, which matches better. Those hearts right there. dries together, I'm going to put them on our little clips. And there you go, beautiful beings. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, beautiful beings, I figured why I still had the iridescent glitter shapes out. I'm going to... No, I think the pink ones will show up on this one. And... The dark pink ones will show up on this. So we're just gonna do this. And there we go. Okay. Then I was thinking to cover holes but I'm gonna have to do it this way I'm gonna take some glue just off the tip and I'm gonna put glue in there just to hide the holes I want to try these in here I'm going to just for something different <laughs> Just for something different, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. I got these flowers from Prima. I think I ordered them off of Amazon. I got them a long time ago. And I got these flowers from Dollar Tree. Okay, Crafter Square. So all I'm going to do is put some flowers on here. And I am going to... I don't want to rip that off. So I'm just going to... Cut this off, okay? Just so I know it dries down good. Again, I painted the clothespins a metallic pink, and this one is, I think, just a gold. No, it's a brown, okay? I thought it matched the inside of the flower, and we're just gonna stick one here and stick one there. Easy peasy, beautiful beings. So we got some with flowers on them. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. I have a red one. It came in it. These came, I found these in my Christmas stuff. 
Okay, I'm going to put some glue in that little slot just to enforce it. And then I'm going to put glue up here. I believe these are from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just going to glue it on here like that. Okay. And I think this is from... These reindeer are from Hobby Lobby. Beautiful beings. And you get 12 in a package. I'm going to put some glue here. I'm going to put some glue under reinforce just to reinforce that. And then I'm going to stick it here. That. So I got that. Then I'm going to put some glue on here. I'm going to put some across here. And I might have got these. I don't even know where I got the clothespins. Beautiful beings. I couldn't find a packet, so I have no idea. But I got these from Hobby Lobby. And I did a video on adding the top part to make it more look like a like a ornament for the tree. And I'm just gonna put I'm not even taking this seal thing off either, the sticker part. I'm just gonna glue it down the way it is. But I made these bobs bulbs in a video. I'll put it in the description if you're interested. And there we go. We got these ones. <laughs> okay, beautiful things. I just took some metallic pink and painted this one. And I just have the scrap, so what I'm going to do is we're going to put the scrap on this clothespin. I'm going to have to do another video on these when I get more because the ideas just keep coming, beautiful beings. That's what that one looks like. Okay, beautiful beings. I have another one I painted gold and one I painted glass white. Okay. I got this ribbon. I believe it's from Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure it's from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put some on here. And I don't know about doing both sides. It depends on if you're putting it on something or not. You know, for if it's going to tuck in. Because if it's going to tuck in, I don't know if it'll rip off. I don't like those. So I'm going to take a little glue. Put it here. And then I'm going to try to get those to go behind it. There, that worked. Tuck that one in. Which is untucking the other one. <laughs> and I'm trying to do this fast because I know this video is totally long. Now it looks all hairy. Just gonna put that down there and that came out <sighs> try it again it's tucked good enough it's tucked good enough so for now I'm just gonna put it on a front and I chose gold because there's a little gold in that ribbon okay but and then I have some other ribbon this ribbon and I think this is from Walmart it came in a bundle pack you get four or six of them together and I just want to put that there I'm gonna cut that right there then I think after it's glued down we could fray it maybe so it's not so you know chubby or we can just cut it off now. Let's try that. Then I figure we can try to peel some off after it's dry and glued down. 
Then on the next one, I decided I wanted to cut the little snowman out. <laughs> so that's what I did. Then I took a lighter and just quickly put it around it so it wouldn't fray. And then when I glue them down, I'll put glue all over them so there's no chance of them fraying. And I'll put that one beautiful bangs. Hey okay, beautiful bangs, I have these two ribbons. They're both from Joann's. Okay. This one hearts and this one's love with a heart. Okay. I was thinking about just putting the same thing on them, but then I got to thinking, let's mix them up. Let's put one on the other side of the other one. Then I decided again to cut the edges off because I didn't like how it looked on there. Yeah, let's have this one going this way. Just in case we need one going that way. And there we go. Make sure the bottom one's centered. And we'll put these aside to dry. Okay, beautiful beings. I got these from Heritage. These are from Joann's. Showed them in the beginning. And I want to take, I think the butterfly, and then the bird, and then the swan. And these could be for everyday use. This one, all I did was put this Folk Art Extreme Glitter Pink on this. Okay, I didn't paint it or nothing. I just put it straight on the wood and that's how I got this look. Okay. Easy, peasy, beautiful beings. <laughs> okay, should be centered. I thought I was recording. Apparently I wasn't. The little birdhouse is from a sticker. I just put the sticker down on some cardboard that was thin and then I cut it out so it would be nice and thick and nothing would happen to it. And on the right I painted a clothespin red and I'm gluing down some confetti hearts with a conversation heart I think I got from Dollar Tree. It's all I'm doing beautiful beings. I'm going to stick this one here. And then I have that one up here that has a hole in it. And I'm going to stick that there. So hopefully that covers the hole on the big one and the hole on the little one. And then I'm just going to push them in a little bit. And voila. Okay, good. I want this centered. I don't think this hard. Hey beautiful beings, I have this ribbon. I've used it before in my other videos. It's from Joann's Valentine's Day. And this fits on these perfect. I did a whole bunch of them. I did pink and white. I did red and white. I did red and pink. This one, I painted it white. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some glue down, just a little bit. That's all you need. And we're just going to put red and pink on this one. Now we're going to trim it off the edge. And then move it back up. Flip it over. Put some glue on this side. Just need a little bit. And then we're going to put the pink on this side. And then later on, if you want to add something to it, you can. Or you can just leave it plain. Because it looks nice just the way it is. Okay. 
I might have to trim them off some more like that end one so I'm going to push it up because it's easier to trim off the top. I need to clean my fingers. Okay. And this is what they look like. The other ones just on plain wood because they look good on just plain wood too. Beautiful things. mixed all the colors. I did do some with white and white and some with pink and pink and then pink and red pink and red and also that pink and red and then pink pink. Okay? Easy peasy. Okay beautiful beings. I'm doing two more and then I'm not going to do them anymore. I promise. <laughs> They're just very addicting. <laughs> Okay, I got two clothespins I painted with glass white. I'm going to put some glue here. Then I'm going to put the bunny down, pink bunny. I'm going to push him up a little bit so he has glue on him. I'm going to push him up. That's what I didn't want to do. See how I got glue on him? I can wipe that off after it's dry. Then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. I'm going to try. If I get this to go right. I'm just going to smear some glue on there. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. That's all I'm going to do for that one. I might add something later, but not in this video when I use it. I'll show you because we're getting into an hour and then I'm gonna put glue all over this and then I'm gonna put them down and I'm gonna fast forward and I'm using these sequences again I got from Walmart That's it, beautiful beings. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. <laughs> Until I, I turned off the camera and then I seen those hearts and I just had to put the hearts in the bunny's eyes. Okay, beautiful beings. <laughs> okay, beautiful beings. I'm going to give you a close-up of all of them. I hope you remembered some tiny little things that you had. So you can put them on some clothespins or something else that you thought of from this video. And you got inspired and creative and enjoyed the video.
Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.